Greetings and salutations, comrades, and welcome to the first ever unboxing video that I will be doing. If you couldn't tell from the title, it is obviously the unboxing of my new audio equipment. I'm really excited about this because there's a lot of really cool things in here. So I'm going to just dive right in, kind of gloss over the small stuff, point it out, you know, things that I kind of needed to get, but they're not all that exciting. For example, little eggs now universal shock mount for shotgun microphones uh it's it's your shock mount you know i'll open it i guess that's what you do in unboxings sorry for all the noise it's like right next to the microphone so yeah there we go oh dropping things so comes with extra bands you can see right there Looks like it comes with one, two, three, four, so an entire new set. The you know, microphone goes in there if you don't know how it works. And yeah, that's basically about it. Let's move on. Set those over there. And then uh, this little guy here is just a nine volt uh, AC adapter for nine volt battery plugs. It's actually useless because it won't work with the XLR audio adapter I have because it doesn't have the right plug. It's fine. I may, I may try to reverse engineer it, uh, do some solder work, do some geeky things and make it work, but for now, whatever. Not important. Uh, this little guy here is the AC adapter for my DSLR camera, camera the Canon 60D. This little bugger is expensive, but I was not about to waste money on a cheap knockoff and risk ruining my camera. So, there it is. Again, not really exciting. This little guy here is an RCA to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Uh, again, not really exciting, but this will allow me to actually monitor my voice while I'm doing testing directly from the camera so I don't have to record, pop it into the computer, listen to it, all that bogus stuff. Um, and that is made possible through the Magic Lantern um, open source firmware additive software type stuff. Um, I've been playing around with that. That's really cool stuff. If you are planning on recording videos from your Magic Lantern for anything, I highly recommend, I said from your Magic Lantern, from your DSLR, uh, specifically your Canon DSLR, highly, highly recommend Magic Lantern. Uh, I may do a separate review of that later, but for now, just know it's pretty awesome. All right, we're getting into the better stuff here. Uh, professional level mic cables. Uh, this was a really cool set. High quality or high grade, hitting the mic all over the place. Um, high dense cables, gold plated. I'm not going to waste time opening them up. Pull this back so you can actually see. Gold plated. 25 foot here. 25 foot here. Really cool. Really good price. Um, I'll, I'll put links to all of this stuff in the description, by the way, so you can take, uh, take a look at the latest prices and whatnot. But just know, two 15 foot, I'm sorry, I said 25 foot, two 15 foot cables in this box. So... I'm excited about that, and we're getting into the, the exciting things. This here is the Beach Tech DXA Connect um, XLR audio adapter with phantom power for, well, DSLR cameras. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you, I'll, I'll do the, show the, yeah, the stuff. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. So, the DXA Connect will not come out of its box sleeve. I'm getting defeated by a box. Yucka! There we go. Well done on that design. Hashtag sarcasm. Alright, and then we open up this guy here. throwing things user manual that's exciting Foam. sorry and 
we'll start with the small thing here. A really cool little doohickey here for connecting this to the camera. Just put that back. And uh, if we consider this and the microphone I'm about to pull out, the meat and potatoes, this would probably have to be the meat. Now I guess this would be the potatoes. Anyways, here it is. The DXA Connect. It's got a really sturdy feel to it. It's made of solid metal. I feel like I could bludgeon someone to death with this if I needed to. Um, I'm not going to because I don't want to treat this thing right. But as you can see, it's got plenty of hot shoe mounts. It's got one, two, three, technically, but a little cross sleeve here or a little cross section there so you can mount it that direction or that way plus one right up front here so that if you want to mount like a wireless audio receiver or something like that you can uh, left and right XLR channels here's our power switches and whatnot uh, I can't really the, the webcam won't focus in that lighting but um, phantom voltage selector there uh, I'll be doing or talking about this stuff more in the next vlog that I'm recording. Uh, I want to actually give a progress update on the channel, set some goals for the future, things like that. So the dials are, feel very sturdy. Uh, overall, I'd, I'd have to say initial impression, this thing feels like it could take a beating. A beating I hope to never give it. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm just gonna set that over there and if that was the potatoes this here is the meat the Rode NTG2 dual powered directional condenser microphone yes that was a little Vanna White Vanna White uh, hand swipe you like that so ah, there we go comes in a nice little leather pouch very convenient I wouldn't really trust it for road storage but look at that I got foam now so I can make something up Put that there uh, we've got ourselves a little mic stand adapter if you're using the smaller style and instruction manuals and nothing really fun there we'll skip over all of that that's a good sound all right so we got our little windscreen here very basic very much like this one that I'm using on this although it feels a, a little denser like it would actually do a little better job this guy here was two dollars I'm sure this is worth at least three and a half a little st steady mic stand you know whatever um, from reading reviews apparently it's a really 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 snug fit um, I have absolutely zero intention of using this which is why I got that shock mount I showed you a few moments ago fun fact the moment is actually a, a unit of measurement of time specifically it, it equates to about 90 seconds and here it is the Rode NTG2 condenser shotgun microphone it is incredibly lightweight first of all um, my Samson C01U that I've shown off before is a great microphone I love it I'm probably still gonna continue to use it for recording audio only uh, on many things many projects but it is a very heavy microphone this is not I this it has about the same weight I'd say a little lighter than a um, running baton if you've ever held one of those so it looks like the bottom just comes off oh, made in Australia that's good so the bottom unscrews double-a battery goes in right there a lot of threads on that there's your XLR. I mean, I really don't know what else you want me to say about it. It's a bloody microphone, but it's not really that bloody. I haven't bludgeoned anyone with this, nor will I, because I'm pretty sure, despite this 
metal chassis, if I were to try to use this as a bludgeoning device, I'd break it. So, that is, yeah, that is everything in that box, comrades. That is my audio setup. Um, I ordered this a few, several days after I got ordered the um, lighting rig and green screen. I was hoping the green screen light rig would get here first, but alas, it has not. I will be doing an unboxing for that when I do eventually get it. I'm going to check every single day until it gets here. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm not even going to throw this one into Premiere. I'm probably just going to straight upload this. No, I want music. Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop talking to myself now. Comrades, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions on any of this, if you want me to do a full review on any of the equipment, please let me know and I will happily do that for you. Um, yeah, stay tuned. The uh, production quality is going to skyrocket from here. I hope. Until next time, comrades. <laughs>